Hi, I'm Mike Seymour from fxguide.com for Wired. Weta Digital was formed 20 years ago and has worked on over 40 incredible films. This week, one of those films received an Oscar nomination and is in the running to win, Dawn of Planet of the Apes. But a real surprise was the omission of The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, which was also done by Weta. This last of the Tolkien films was an omission that was a real upset. The film has vastly complicated simulations, terrific character work, and some of the most breathtaking environments. Much of the earliest attention of the Lord of the Rings films was actually gained from the use of the crowd simulation software Massive in the vast battle sequences. And it's only therefore fitting that in The Hobbit, it should end with some remarkable battles on a scale that not even Weta had previously attempted. In this film, Weta deployed their new Army Manager production tool that allowed director Peter Jackson to visualize the battles and decide how to film them. The filmmakers still used the incredible Massive software developed in New Zealand for the final shots, but Massive is more of an animation and post tool. Army Manager, by comparison, is faster and was used earlier in production, bridging the gap in real time between previs and the final Massive shots. The Battle of the Five Armies also showed the incredible power of the new Manuka renderer, which was first seen actually in a handful of shots in Dawn of Planet of the Apes. The 350,000 lines of new code delivered renders of vastly complex fluid and destruction simulations and also very detailed character work in only way that Peter Jackson can put on the screen. While the first Lord of the Rings film is remembered for its battles, it's the digital character work with creatures such as Gollum that has made Weta a regular contender at almost every Oscars race since they started. In this film, the Lake Town attack by Smog is every bit as strong and is built inside one of the most elaborate computer simulations imaginable. Smog's wings actually drive air simulations in this closed volume that's been built for the all digital sequence. The airflow fluid sims then feed fire simulations, which in turn drive the incredibly detailed building destruction. The buildings of course collapse and their rigid body simulations then interact with the fluid simulations of the lake. This in turn triggers smoke and steam to rise up, which can actually be seen vortexing by the very wings of the dragon as it flies by. All of this, of course, while smog is breathing fire. It's volumetrics feeding rigid bodies, feeding fluid sims. While visually needing to stay very much in keeping with the earlier films, it is remarkable how far Weta has come with its pipeline, producing today some of the most complex imagery in terms of both animation and rendering of Middle Earth. Or perhaps it's just testament to how competitive the category is that a film as good as The Five Armies didn't even get a nomination. Don't forget to subscribe for more behind the scenes action. I'm Mike Seymour for Wired.